Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome to a new cafe that I'm in. Today, instead of having coffee with a master, you're going to have coffee with me. And I'm on my way to mastering various things, but I'm nowhere near it yet. I am an eternal student of light, of starlight, and today I wanted to talk about the Mars Rahu conjunction that's happening in the sky. And it's happening in the third house opposite the night house activity where we've got Saturn Kate conjunct, digging up the past. But what have we got here with Mars Rahu? Well, we've got a really interesting situation, and I think you'd have to be living under a rock to not feel this energy because it's almost tangible. Everybody's feeling some level of frustration, um, even anger, people are feeling triggered. And if you're not feeling these things, then you're probably a light worker. You've probably done a lot of work on yourself. And it's probably one of the reasons why you're tuned into this channel. Because I know the majority of my audience are people who you know, work in this area and I've been consulting with a lot of you lately um, I've been doing a lot of readings by the way the website is down I'm going to be bringing it up next week um, I've just been quite busy I've had quite a few readings come through lately and I've been working with a lot of you and a lot of you are um, kind of masters of starlight yourselves you're kind of, you know, K2 in the 8th Kate in Scorpio, or, you know, you're very um, knowledgeable about all aspects of spirituality and, and light work and all these kind of things, and you're warriors of light, you know, a lot of you are doing great work out there and being a pillar of support to people around you, and this video is really to help you um, handle this time, because I think one of the things that you'll notice is that there are people around you that are frustrated, triggered, or angry, right? And anger's coming up to the surface. And today's video is really how to handle that. So I've got three tips in particular. One tip, and I'm gonna cut to a little bit of um, a little bit of the write-up so that you can see more clearly. Tip number one is speak less. So that's a really basic tip. And a lot of astrologers are giving that tip at the moment. Just to speak less, if you can spend less time with negative people or draining people, if you can take a dog for the walk, take you know the dog out for a walk, um, do whatever you need to do to get a bit of time out at this time, that's a really good thing to do. So speak less, number one. Number two is grounding, right? And I've been giving this a lot of thought that I think a lot of us need to ground ourselves and I know I've needed grounding. I personally have really needed grounding and I have been having some symptoms of being a bit headachy, I've had stuff in my top of my spine and things like that um, and I realized yesterday that I really need to do some grounding and I started to really feel the energy in my feet in particular, um, in my legs, like all through that area, kind of, you know, from the, from the back, all the way down to my feet, just really feeling that area. And straight away, the headache started to lift. And it's quite incredible, this thing. I've realized that one of the reasons I've been getting frequent headaches recently is because I'm so up in my head. And the energy is all concentrated up here and it's not enough you know in my feet and that's um one of the things there's a zen saying that something like the body gets ill when the master is not at home right so you've got to fully inhabit your body and why am i saying this in relation to mars value conjunction i'm saying this because when there's that kind of activity happening in the sky this mars rahu thing and there's a lot of anger coming to the surface, there's angry people, there, you know, maybe you're experiencing road rage or, you know, there's all kinds of interesting energies that are going on right now. So when those things are happening around you, us sensitive people, us light workers, we, we think it's a good idea to kind of escape, 
okay? So we go up into our minds, we go up into our, our dream stage, our dreamscape, we go kind of in the, in the higher chakras up here. And, you know, we'll listen to music, we'll escape into art, we'll, um, we'll be in our heads a lot. And all of our energy is kind of concentrated up here. We think it's safe to close off our root chakra. That's really what we're doing. We're shutting that off. And the main thing there is like, it's not safe to be here. Okay? And if you're in an environment with angry people, you will think it's not safe to be here. And I'm going to do my good old technique of shutting off my root chakra. And I'm going to come up. And that can work in the short term. That's an okay thing to do now and then. It's not a good idea to do in the long term. It can cause headaches, it can cause spinal difficulties. A lot of um, spine problems, problems with the spine, are because people are, are using that escape route too much. And that's not a good idea. So that's why I'm offering this as a remedy for Mars Rafi. Because this month in particular, in June, going to be on, right? There's going to be angry people, there's going to be, um, this, this energy is coming to the surface. So don't do the old technique of escaping or keeping your energy up here. Ground, right? Really ground. And be in your heart if you can. Another tip for that is just to watch um, a cute video of a cute kitten or something like that. And why don't I put one below? I'll put something like that in the link below. Another thing I'll also point you to is my Mars meditation. I've got a Mars meditation which I'm going to point you to, which will calibrate your beliefs and your mind space to the healthy expression of Mars and what a good Mars should feel like. So, so grounding is so key. It's really, really important. And the third thing I've got, I think I'm going to get into the third one now, is it's an interesting one. It's to engage the opposing need. So what do I mean by this? Engage the opposing need. Now I've got a little diagram for this and what I'll do is I will show you my diagram. I might cut to it if I need to, but I've also got it here. So what have we got going on here? We've got Sutton Kate in the ninth house. Right? We know what's going on there. And what have we got up here? Up here where the star is, is Mars Rahul conjunction. So that's happening up here. So if you're particularly stuck in either of these, what you're going to want to do is engage the opposing need. So it's kind of interesting. So if you're quite stuck in Saturn Kibu, so so let's say you're stuck dealing with the past, you're stuck, um, you're in your mind quite a lot. Okay, and I've just shared with you that that's me. You know, I'm, I'm kind of in the past, I'm in my childhood home. Um, and I've been thinking a lot and I've been trying to solve everything in my life with my mind, right? So that's not a good idea. So I said to myself that I need to analyze, I need to go deep. I need to think about everything. I need to create a large hierarchy of thought. I need to solve this with my mind. That's what I think I need to do. But I could be benefited greatly by jumping into the opposite house and by simplifying, by sharing, you know, finding some friends to hang out with and just sharing and laughing, right? Laughter. This is a beautiful energy up here. So, Let's say you're triggered up here quite a lot and you're with Mars Rahu and you know you're, you're angry and you're frustrated and, and um, you know maybe you could do with some introspection, maybe you could do with the opposing need, maybe you could do with isolating yourself a bit and thinking things through before you act. Um, you know, it, it might be worth analyzing it and looking at some of those large hierarchies of thought because this a lot of all of this sprung from and i'm going to write it out now it's come from a quote that i heard from ramdas he said that you are one thought away from the now 
one thought away from the now. And that sparked this thinking. And I ended up, what I ended up doing was I ended up scribbling this, which hopefully it's not legible because it's a mess, but I've been, I, I, ba I basically mapped out all the house needs as I see them. And this has been really useful in my consultations lately. Because sometimes when I see concentrated energy somewhere in particular, I know that that person could benefit from a little drop of the other house, the opposing house. So, let me draw up this diagram quickly, which I'm just going to kind of make up on the spot. I haven't really thought it out too much, but this concept of one thought. Away from the now. And then the ninth house. Because I started to think that the ninth house is this place and then let's say we've got the now okay so Rambar says that we are one thought away from the now now if you're quite in the ninth house you could be loads of thoughts away from the now you could be loads of thoughts away from yourself you could be kind of trapped in thinking you know, and, and this kind of person, which I think a lot of people who are attracted to astrology are, they've got some Sagittarius going on, um, this type of person can really benefit from, you know, the Geminian things, from being lighthearted, from simplifying, from thinking a bit less, from um, being with friends, and from laughter. Right? That is such a remedy for this time. Laughter. We need to just laugh, you know, and not get too serious and not get too deep and just uh, and be with friends, you know. So that's another remedy for this time. So guys, I think I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, just to recap, what are the three main remedies for this time of Mars Rite and Conjunction? Number one, we had Speak Less. Number two, Grounding. Right? And the grounding has really helped me. I, this morning, did I tell you this? I don't think I told you this. This morning I took off my shoes and it was about 7 in the morning I went into the garden and I um, put my feet in the grass and it was, it was dew and it was freezing cold but it really, really felt great. So grounding, number two. And the third one is engage the opposing need. And that's something you can do if you just sit with sit with this and look wherever you are you might not be dealing with these energies so much maybe you're dealing more with one and seven because of the setup of your stars and the setup of your life maybe you're dealing more with um themes of you know 12 and 6 or whatever it is think about where you are energetically and reach for a little bit of the opposite house and that will do you a lot of good so Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.